Good evening. We are getting closer to the camping season. So we have to do three things. Once, we have to check the weather, find a sunny weekend. Second, we have to check the, uh, check the campsites and then reserve a campsite. How sweet is that? However, the weatherman must have forgotten to send this message to the clouds. On the planned weekend, you would wake up to the sweet sound of the raindrops hitting your window. And that's the exact moment that all of those excitements will give their places to rage. Should we blame the weathermen, the weather forecasting organizations, or no, wait a minute, the presidency candidates? <laughs> I would say no one. In order to predict things like weather, climate change, or even the election results, scientists use a tool called mathematical model. And there is a popular saying in scientific model in modeling circle, all models are wrong to a certain extent. Weather and climate models incorporate things like wind speed, temperature, geographical feature, and many more complex components. And the uncertainty in the result comes from the fact that neither the equation themselves nor the input data is perfect. But that doesn't mean that we are not getting better. One of the techniques to compensate those errors is to learn from the past. That sounds like a mother, huh? Guess what? Moms are always right. In my research, I will gather all those precipitation data in the past and put them beside the forecasted precipitation in the exact seri uh, same period of time. And then both of them are precipitation. There should be a relationship between them. So I let them talk to each other and I will find the relationship through the statistical procedures and build a new equation that can enhance those errors to a significant level. Since we cannot be perfectionists in this field, it is impossible to diminish all those errors and then have a perfect forecast. However, the enhanced forecast is looking much better than the uh, forecast the weatherman has reported to us. And that's how we, uh, we bias correct the precipitation data. Thank you.